the most popular were cars equipped with the same downsized 1.4-liter engines of the EA211 family, they accounted for more than 60% of sales of pre-restyling cars. And this is a good choice for the release of the fifth-generation Audi A4, most of the most critical problems have been successfully eliminated. The most serious problem that remained after numerous upgrades was the jamming of the thrust of the turbine bypass valve actuator, the so-called waste gate. Due to the fact that the electric drive here is quite powerful, it breaks the jammed rod. If the diagnostic scanner shows error P334B00, mechanical malfunction of the boost pressure regulator, no this is it. It is almost impossible to predict the mileage at which something like this can happen. There are examples when the wedge occurred at a very scanty mileage, and there is an unconfirmed, but quite logical explanation for this, most likely, during purely urban operation, the engines do not have enough grip on the highway at high speeds. This means that in order for the rod to move, you need to periodically let the motor spin up. By the way, dealers who had to solve the problem under warranty were forced to change the entire turbocharger. Although the turbine, as a rule, was absolutely in good working order. Naturally, for post-warranty cars, engaging in such wastefulness is absolutely pointless. It is better to buy a wastegate actuator repair kit, it is not cheap, but definitely cheaper than a fresh, fully equipped snail. And if the actuator turns sour after a long stay, try resuscitating it, swing it, and lubricate the drive. It's certainly not a quick, tedious task, but it allows you to save a considerable amount of money. But don't listen to those who recommend saving on replacing the timing belt. Indeed, in European countries the drive is considered maintenance-free. But for the Russian market, it is prescribed to replace the belt every 120,000 kilometers. But antifreeze leaks at the junction of the water pump and the housing can be treated by replacing the cheap gasket. Let me remind you that the 2011 engines have an intricate design consisting of a dual-circuit cooling system pump, as well as two thermostats attached to it. In its current form, this entire sophisticated, ingenious assembly can serve for somewhere up to 200,000 kilometers without any problems. With the restyling, Audi motorists were forced to completely abandon the 1.4 TSI engines. Moreover, the decision was brought down from above, so Skoda, Seat and Volkswagen began to switch to a new 1.5-liter turbo engine. But Audi took a different route, they introduced a derated 2.0 TSI engine into the most affordable A4. There was a problem with rapid wear of camshafts. In addition, the Germans failed to create a truly strong timing chain and introduced an over-equipped pump and a capricious oil separator valve. In addition, car owners often criticized the short-lived valves of phase regulators. In general, the name of an ideal internal combustion engine is far from even the third edition of 3.8s, to put it mildly. Although the latest editions of the engine can be considered quite tolerable. Keep an eye on the diesel 2-liter heavy fuel engine of the E288 series, which are generally quite good. Although also not without sin. When the odometer reads 150,000 km and above, there is a high chance that the vacuum actuator of the turbine will fail and the flap and EGR valve lose their mobility as usual, but the latter is only relevant when the recirculation system was not shut off earlier, for example, as soon as the warranty period has expired. The timing mechanism is driven by a belt, which also drives the fuel and water pumps, it is recommended to change it every 120,000 km, but we would advise performing the operation earlier every 100,000. In addition, it will be useful to check the crankcase ventilation system, if traces of fogging are visible on the tube, it means it is advisable to replace the diaphragm valve located inside the valve cover. In 2018, the company presented an updated line of diesel engines. These motors have an aluminum block, steel liners, and other modernized designs. In addition, German engine engineers use separate oil and vacuum pumps, whereas previously they were made as a single unit. Alas, there are still no sensible reviews from mechanics or owners about this new product. There are serious complaints from our compatriots, there is only one older modification of the output of 190 forces, urea is required per thousand mileage, about a liter is needed, but the quality of the poured composition must be impeccable. By modern standards, the B9 family got an almost ideal line of gearboxes, almost the only malfunction that can happen to the MQ350 manual gearbox, familiar to any serviceman, is replacing the dual-mass flywheel after overcoming the 150,000-mile mark. The main option for cars of the B9 series was a new modification of the selective Stronic gearbox, which turned out to be more compact and lighter than its predecessor.
It has a modification for front-wheel drive versions that replaces the wedge-type Multitronic variator, as well as an option for an all-wheel drive vehicle with a center differential integrated inside the box. The 7-speed with the DL382 selector easily takes care of the resources laid down by the manufacturer only after 150 to 200,000 kilometers of run, requiring repairs, but so that the life of the box passes it is in this scenario that it is important to change the transmission fluid every 50 to 80,000 kilometers, otherwise the valve body solenoids will become overgrown with wear products, which will immediately affect the operation of the unit, unpleasant shocks will appear in the mechanical part, it is recommended to update the transmission after 100,000 km. However, some believe that this is completely unnecessary. But in vain, with fresh lubricant, the non-dismountable electric pump inside which the control unit is hidden will live much longer. Well, in addition to the 7-speed oil service, warming up, careful driving and a calm start are useful. In general, there is no need to be afraid of this selective device, perhaps, this is one of the best boxes of this type. True, for greater longevity, at every second oil change it will be useful to change filters. There are three pieces here, so you have to remove the valve body. It's also a very good effect for the electronics to adapt to worn-out clutch friction linings. Let's start our discussion of the Audi A4 suspension with a warning regarding ride smoothness. Each copy of the Audi A4 will be absolutely individual, because there are four chassis options, standard, sports, adaptive, and also for bad roads. Be sure to take this into account when selecting spare parts. In megacities, the chassis has enough safety margin, but on broken provincial roads, the chassis will require regular and, moreover, very expensive repairs. The weakest link is the wheel bearings, which last an average of 80 to 90,000 kilometers. The lower arms of the front suspension serve even less well, their ball joints and rubber metal joints break literally in 60 to 70,000 kilometers, the upper arms are more durable, they last for about 100,000 kilometers. In general, in order to dramatically change your mind about purchasing this model, you just need to study the design of the front suspension by looking at the diagram, 8 levers, and with them 8 ball joints and rubber metal joints, and of all the ball joints, only 2 are changed separately. How do you like the design of the subframe, which consists of two parts, the lower arms are attached to the rear steel, and the aluminum anti-roll bar and steering mechanism are attached to the front. The situation at the rear is better, the rear suspension rarely requires attention a little earlier than 200,000 km, the shock absorber takes a little less time, they usually get tired at mileage from 150 to 170,000 km. And we strongly recommend that you beware of adjustable shock absorbers because they are prohibitively expensive, but last about half or even three times less than regular shock absorbers. In conclusion, we will repeat what we said initially. The Audi A4 Series B9 turned out to be an improved version of its predecessor car. And despite some disadvantages, you can take such a 4. Let us repeat what we have to constantly repeat about all modern Germans, when choosing an Audi A4, you should always remember that this car is very demanding of everything. From the quality of working fluids and timeliness of maintenance to the owner's driving style. If you are ready to accept such conditions, then rest assured that a fresh and properly tested copy will be ready to serve you faithfully for more than one year.